So this is the Toro heavy duty battery powered 60 volt 21 inch self propelled mower. A battery charger and a bunch of batteries. So we got to put it together and charge the battery. It comes with its own charger, it's a little bit different than the regular flex force chargers there and the battery is actually a little bit bigger too than the normal batteries for the blower and trimmer and all that Beauty. this is the 30 inch turf master hdx toro self-propelled ak walk behind mower you can tell the construction is very similar this is extremely heavy duty got the bar here to protect the engine it's very very thick quality steel here you can just tell the difference and look at the components right here for all the wheels the wheels themselves very similar to the heavy duty com it's the exact same wheel just smaller same kind of components here see the heavy duty components they're not going to rust. It's going to be long lasting. Very nice mower. It does the trick. It's battery operated, so it's a little bit lighter. It's a heavy duty mower with a battery powered engine. Makes it lighter, cleaner. You can market it cleaner energy and stuff like that. So I've had a lot of challenging spring rushes, right? The time of year when spring has sprung and you know, the birds are chirping, the weather's warm. That's usually well, like around March for most parts of the country of the United States. And the phone starts ringing off the hook, emails start blowing up, Facebook messages, website, whatever, all those things really take off because people, you know, are coming out of winter and they want to get stuff fixed up. They want their yard looking nice, whether it be fresh mulch, grass being cut, fertilized, all that kind of stuff. So everyone's busy, busy, busy. It goes from zero to 60 real quick. Um, so a lot of phone calls and being a solo owner, owner operator for quite some time. And even now with a few part-time employees, I'm still the one doing all of that kind of work, answering the phones, doing the quotes, sending emails, all that kind of stuff. So it gets really tedious and cumbersome. And I've had my ways of trying to deal with that, like to the point of just letting it go to voicemail because I couldn't stop every you know, five, 10 minutes to answer the phone while I'm in the middle of mowing a lawn or trimming or whatever, I would just send it to voicemail because I just was hoping that if it was important enough that they would leave me a message and I would follow up with them when I had a chance later that day or at the end of the day, kind of like stockpile them all up and then just call them one after another. But I'm sure I missed a lot of work that way because people just didn't want to leave messages. But that was all I had until Smith AI. So Smith AI is a 24 seven call reception service, uh, virtual receptionist. So they answer your calls, they can manage your calendar, take payments, um, website, you know, manage all the messages from your website, all kinds of stuff, much, much more. Check the link in the video description down below. So you can go on there, you can check it all out. Uh, you can save $100 off your first month with code LCR100. Again, all that's in the link in the description down below this video. But check them out. I've had them for over a month. 71 phone calls that they that I didn't have to answer a single one. They did. They screened all of them out. Let the people know that didn't meet the criteria. That they're not 
you know, we're not uh, we're not in their service area, or we don't offer those services, or all of the above, and I never even have to deal with it. Only the people that do meet the criteria do I call back or send an email, send them a quote. Um, customers, existing customers that call, I will take care of that. They'll forward them to me. All this stuff that we set up in the beginning. But 71 calls that I didn't have to deal with until it was actually making that sale when it mattered the most to me. Check out Smith AI. It's been a game changer for me. Whether you're a solo owner operator or a million dollar lawn care business, you definitely can utilize a virtual receptionist. You don't have to pay the payroll for having somebody, you know, four to eight hours a day to maybe answer phones, do miscellaneous admin stuff just to fill their time so that you're paying them for something. These are virtual call receptionists. They answer the phone or they don't. You don't have to pay them for calls that they don't answer. All kinds of plans and packages. Again, you can check that all out in the link down below in the video description. It's just a really great service. I hope you guys check it out. What I like about it is the variable speed. It's also quieter, obviously. Right here, you keep it on auto or you can put it on max and just be on high power the whole time, which is gonna drain the battery power obviously quicker. If you keep it on auto, it actually adjusts. If, you, if you're going up a hill, it switches internally up to max speed. So it, it revs up the, the power, the energy, so that you can go up a hill faster. If you go into thicker grass, it revs up the same way and cuts to cut the taller, thicker grass, and then it revs back down when it needs to, when you're going back downhill or when you get into the thinner grass. So I, I love that they have that technology in here so that you keep it on auto, and this way you conserve the battery power as much as possible and let the mower do the work for you, make the decisions of when to go faster, give more power, and so on. But I really like this mower. I just want to demonstrate its cutting quality and the long lasting of the battery. This is a typical front yard here. You look at the size, comparison to the mower. This is a 21 inch mower. You shouldn't be using this on a yard any bigger than this. This is just the front yard. So we're just gonna come around and do this entire front yard with this mower and see how long the battery lasts. Right now we are at, let's see, one handed here, three bars. So we'll see where we're at going through here. I'm guessing we'll be at two bars, maybe one, we'll see, but I've used this enough to kind of know, uh, though this might be third, three bars, borderline two bars, we, you know, we use it commercially for my lawn care business, so we used it today, it was full battery, went down to one bar, so it could be like on the verge of two bars, anyway, we'll see, I can't imagine it going through more than one bar on this front yard, but anything bigger than this, you shouldn't be using this, you should be using that or even a larger walk behind a ride-on mower. Um, so a 21 inch is really for the small cookie cutter yards like this, or the backyards with the small gates that are this kind of size backyard, so that you're not wasting time, commercially anyway, if you're being paid to use a 21 inch, it's gonna take you a lot longer if you have a, ma a large yard. So you wanna put the right mower on the right yard, just side note. You could use it, use this for this house if you're a homeowner. So, and you're, you're using the battery instead of dealing with gas and oil and all the different maintenance and upkeep that comes with that, plus the uh, sound of it. You know, it's quieter. And if you want to be more energy efficient and and more, uh, if you want to go green, this is definitely the way to go with that. So Toro really hit a home run with this mower for sure.
All right. Didn't even need these on. It's so quiet. It's just force of habit, but I don't know if you guys heard. It was revving up when I got some thicker grass. Um, I had to adjust the height up a little bit. It's July, it's hot, not a whole lot of rain, so I don't want to stress the lawn out, so I want it to be a little bit higher. So I moved it up to from three and a half to four inches. So a couple, couple other things. I'm not really a huge fan of the four point adjustment. You know, the 30 inch has two points. You know, you adjust the front on one side and the, and the back on the other side. So front and back, and that's it. It adjusts this side of the front, adjusts the whole front. This side of the back, adjusts the whole back. But on this, you have to adjust all four points. It's quick and easy to move it up and down, but it's it just takes you know just that extra little time, right? So time is money, and when it's super hot like this, 100 degrees out, real feel and all that. Last thing you want to do is be dancing around the mower constantly, four different four, four different points moving up and down versus two quick adjustments. Um, just just throwing that out there. It's still a really great mower. It's super quick and easy to adjust those four points. I'm just saying, Toro, maybe if there's any way we can adjust that to two, but otherwise not a big deal. But you saw me back there, I had to adjust that to go around all four spots, move it up a little bit, move it up a half an inch to four inches and then finish cutting it. I think it did a pretty good job. I was trying to do the whole double wide, double wide stripes here. I'll put a link if I can find the old video. Shout out to the lawn care, not Alan Hain. Back in the day, 2014, 2015 days, of him mowing double wide stripes with his 21 inch mowers. I, I tried, but uh, he had a stripe kit and all that too. So this, this, this mower doesn't have that. It's just in the raw here. It still makes decent stripes, but nothing like, you know, and the sun's not really, it's kind of behind the clouds here. So it's not really giving you that definitive back and forth. And it's July, so the grass isn't super deep, dark green, but I think it's doing pretty good under the circumstances, except for maybe that spot there. The moment of truth, what is the battery power? The battery level. Let's see. What do we think? What are we thinking? It was at three bars. Are we thinking two or one? Two bars. See that? So it only went down one bar. And we don't know, like I said, how much of that third bar was used today already. But it went down one bar. So not too shabby, in my opinion. So there you have it. That's my, um, short review on the 21 inch 60 volt battery powered mower got the neighbors out and about kids playing so i'm gonna wrap this up i tried to get all this in one take but you know between neighbors kids neighbor came over and actually asked me about this mower. like it's so quiet i'm like yeah so we had this whole conversation while the camera's just recording and it drained the battery at the same time so right as i'm about to check the uh, level my battery dies so i had to go grab another battery out the truck and pop it in and you guys just have to trust me on that i'm not trying to you know falsify any information it's it's a small yard one bar that's how it is so again uh i will put some links some videos at the end of this video for you to check out also some links to toro if you want to go check out more about this mower and just other cool stuff they have going on check that out below this video in the dis video description and if you haven't already, please like, comment below what you think, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.